<laughs> oh hi! Welcome back again everyone. Today we're playing Nightmare Cart. This sounds like I'm back in the 90s. Um, so this game is apparently huge among uh, Bloodborne fans. Nightmare Cart. Nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna say something that may get me into trouble here. I've never played Bloodborne. Thought about it, haven't done it. Tell me if I should. But let's just jump in and see what happens. What are you? The Dream Watchers notice your presence. Um, continue. The Dream Watchers don't seem concerned with your reasoning as to why you are visiting the city of Miralodia. The Dream Watchers want you to sign a contract. Seems harmless. <laughs> uh, okay, um, let's go ahead and clear that out, and we'll just go... Can I just type it? No, I can't type it. That's sad. We'll just go with, uh, we'll just go with Cabre. I won't use my own name. I'm going to give us both credit for this. That way, if I suck, it's not all my fault. Ha ha ha. Dream Watchers want to know more. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. You get two voices. Well, I'm going to go with this one. Uh, the Dream Watchers offer you mysterious keys. Choose one. Hunter cart, hunter motorcycle. Handling, size, weight. What's the difference? I don't know. I'm gonna go with, uh... I'm gonna go with the cart, just because my handling on these kinds of games is always terrible. You begin to feel drowsy. Yeah, I just saw that this was, you know, race through the gothic streets and have vehicular combat. And I was like, well, that just sounds so, entertaining. The nightmare begins again. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so how do we... Okay, hang on one second here. Okay. Okay, I see. Okay, got some drifting going on. Looking side to side. What else? Woo! Oh, okay. That's nice. That is, that is great. Okay, power breaking is going to be fun. Oh, that didn't work at all. <laughs> Wahoo! Get it! And hit the next one. Just go, baby. Got your white flare to receive a power. Oh, this? That's... Oh. 
Down you go, buddy. Anyways, grants blood droplets, which will increase max speed. Okay. I get him. Woo! I'm... Come and get some, boy. Oh. I'm gonna guess that was supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, this is cool looking. The hunter awakes to a misty dream, surrounded by a host of peculiar characters. Next match location, Pocket Dream Circuit. It's a race. Okay. Alright, so it, it looks a lot like this is just... We're gonna go through races, kill people, learn stuff, maybe? I'm not sure. But this is, uh... Very interesting. It, it feels almost like... I don't know, Crash with Guns? Crash Team Racing with Guns? <laughs> well, I would just say, let's just move forward. Hmm. <clears throat> What's happening here? Uh -huh. You must be the new participant. I am Herman. Hello. And this is Onet, my animated servant who tends to my every need. I. <laughs> you must be what? confused, but try not to think too hard about all this. Just go out and win a few races, and it'll all be over before you know it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed himself to choking. Okay, Herman. Oh, net just pocket goes. Dream ah. circuit. Oh, pocket dream circuit. Let's go. Did you know doing air tricks will generate aether vials for boosting? All right, cool. Let's see how I do. Ah, oh, shit. Excuse me, guys. They even... Oh, shit. Ah, oh, damn it. I keep forgetting controls. Get back here, whoever you are. these jumps wrong because I'm not that bitch one 
All right. Dream Watchers. A solid five seconds later. Next. Ah. It's practically just an outright failure now. Do you have to get first, or can you move forward? After learning the rules of the road, the hunter embarks on their journey through the city of Miralodia in search of answers. A fellow outsider, one who claims to have vast knowledge of the cursed city and its inhabitants, beckons through the hazy pane of a dimly lit window, and warns that the hunt is on tonight, and that the first race is soon to begin. Okay, so... We ended up here somehow, and now we've got to race and fight our way out. I did real bad on that last one. Mirlodia Expressway, match type race. Select a melee weapon. Beast Razor or the Threaded Sword? I'm, I'm going to see what the Razor's like. Okay, so we're learning. I didn't do very well that first time. I mixed up. I kept. I mixed up uh, boosting and jumping a few different times. Way. Mirlodia Expressway. They like shouted at you. This time I'm gonna kill more skeletons and stuff. That the last the last one I was just out of my depth. Oh, we got more. Pieces of shit. Oh, you dickhole. Whoa, what the hell was that? going on here. Hey. Woo -hoo -hoo. That big, big fella. Shit. No. What happened? What the fuck was that shit? Get out of my way. Oh god. Piece of shit. I'm not going down easy. Oh, they moved shit, didn't they? Or am I just on crack? I'm coming for you, bitch. No! 
Get back here, you little bitch. Come on. Come on! Woo! <laughs> this game is hilarious and fun. I am thoroughly enjoying this so far. Oh, it was Onet who kept getting in my way. All right. Yeah, this, this is this is great. Oh, all right. With their first taste of victory, the hunter sets their sights on the Miralodia underground and descends into the grimy abyss. I like how, like, each race you do, you just kind of move forward and you're moving a story along. I don't really know what the hell's going on, but that's okay. Because you get to have this awesome combat racing chaos. Oh, we have another option now. Let's try the threaded sword this time and see if that makes any sort of a difference. Odium Sewer Arena. <laughs> Team Bloodbath. Defeat the enemy ten times to win. Oh, it's not a race. It's this is okay. All right. All right, so we're taking out the skeletons. All right, team, let's fuck them up. doing the actual combat part of it. Like in the deathmatch, that did not go well. You know what I mean? Like, I think you had to win ten times. I, I think we had four is what that thing said in the bottom. The hunter emerges from their scrape in the cesspit and steals into the Angel Graveyard, grounds located on the city outskirts named after great beings of worship. There, in the shadow of the shatter, the shadow of Miralodia's towering visage, they encounter a blood-splattered hunter atop a roaring motorcycle. The merciless Father Gregory bears his hunter axe and launches into battle. Oh, is this a boss fight? This sounds like Father Gregory is gonna kick our ass. That's what that sounds like. 
match type special. The spark cage. Let's see what the spark cage is like. Into the angel graveyard we go. more for you. Where'd you go? Are you on my ass? Father, where you at? Gotcha! This is fun! This is really fun. I'm having... Oh my god. Oh. Oh shit. Oh fuck. You died. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. Okay. Gotta stay out of range. If we run into him, he will kill us. That's what we've learned. Yeah! 
Do that again, he's gonna kill me if that happens. One more, one more, one more. No, that didn't do it. Oh, okay, all right. Grr, you hunted, yeah, I, yeah, I did. Woo! <laughs> pop, 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 pop. Damn. All right. Foreman. That's a... Okay. I, I thought I took long. And it you get first place as long as you're in four minutes. I didn't... I had like two and a half minutes or something. All right. Well, hey, we're off to a good start then. Having bested Father Gregory, the hunter becomes privy to a shred of insight. Their newfound knowledge illuminates the path forward. The truth of this nightmare, and the means to escape it, lies in the old clock tower just beyond a fetid den of slithering serpents, the Forbidden Forest. So we're going to find a bunch of snakes. A bunch of big snakes. I think this game's really cool. I'm... Thoroughly enjoying this so far. Select cart. Oh, I see. So you can switch over to the motorcycle. Do I want to keep the cart or try the motorcycle? I don't really know, like, is it beneficial or not? Let's just switch and find out. And I've been switching, you know, weapons, melee weapons, every single time. We'll go ahead and try this crescent axe. We'll just swap things out. Mix and match. So now, racing through the Forbidden Forest. I don't think... I can't remember last time I played a racing game that had a story. Or if I've ever Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. I don't know. But this is fun. Am I racing a bunch of snakes? You can power break during the countdown to boost on go. Ah. I didn't know that, but thanks for the tip. not even register in my brain that that was a turn. Get out of my way. Oh, this is weird! back here. Get back here. I'm not done with you. This racetrack is crazy.
Come on. for too long. Oh, I just saw there's like a ramp up there. Oh, too late. I'm on the third lap now. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Almost there. Absolutely frickin' smoked them. Nice. I just want to see when the next person finishes. Like, how far ahead did I get? Oh, I don't even get to know. All right. All right. And we're getting better as we go. I almost died in that one, though. Like, I got shot so many times. Lost deep in the forest, the hunter aimlessly roams. In their fear, they make a dreadful revelation. The serpents have started to speak. I don't I don't need to be talking to snakes here. Alright, so the next one's a battle again. The first time we did a battle, I guess we won. I didn't think we did, but apparently we did. A lonely hunter lost in the woods. What? Trying to get to the old clock tower, are you? What the heck? <laughs> lost little hunter thinks knowledge will be found there. Rummaging around that decrepit old tower will only upset her. Oh, yes, and we wouldn't want that. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to have any fun with you if you go off and get killed by her. Now, would we? How about a little I like the little game? snakes with hats. <laughs> the three of us, and we'll show you the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's creepy. Forbidden Forest Arena. Capture the insight. Grab the insight and return it to the base five times to win. Okay. What what is what is the insight? How how do I I guess I'll find out.
Oh, did I just throw it? This one, this is way harder than that boss fight. I'm just ignoring you guys this time, so sorry, not sorry. That one almost right on my ass. them, but I think it said you needed five. Oh, did they count it just because it was a victory? I guess so. All right. That one was a lot harder than the actual boss fight. The Matilda sisters, having been defeated, lead the way to the Great Clock Tower, a citadel housing the secrets of Hunter's past, unbeknownst to the Hunter. A strangely familiar figure lies in wait. Who? Who? We don't know that many people. We've only met, like, a few people. I don't know.
Well, this is cool. Ooh, a fancy salad. The sweet sounds of secrets whispered in your ear. There is only one cure for a hunter as intoxicated as yourself. Whoa. And into my own mind. Some minds, guys. I'm just racing at this point. There's nobody even near me. Cruising. Faster each lap. I think the first race was the hardest one for me because I had no idea what was happening. I kind of want to go back and play it now because I'm pretty sure I could get first. Nicholas. The name echoes in the hunter's mind. The angelic knowledge that the mistress spoke of. Perhaps this Nicholas could unlock the answers to this nightmare. Armed with this information, the hunter begins their return journey to the city of Mirilodia to find him. Although the trip will be fraught with danger, a friendly face soothes the nerves. Hmm. Oh, the next one's a battle. Okay. <clears throat> the
The battles seem to be a struggle for me. Somebody, one of you, anybody, anybody, should let me know. Is like, oh. what is Bloodborne like? What do we have Tell here? Me. Uh? A hunter conscripted against their will. How amusing with that arm of yours. Trying to make your way back into Mirolodia proper. Be warned, as the city sinks deeper into the darkest umbra of the night, the beast within will offer no quarter. Sounds not good. Enough talk. Take this. You will not be able to re-enter without a proper fight. Who are you? Why are you helping me? It says a familiar Angel face. Arena. I don't recognize you. Nah, tell me. Is is Bloodborne like this? What about Team this is like Bloodborne? Bloodbath. Defeat the enemy ten times to win. Is it like the Gothic setting? Which I mean is cool. Okay, us two versus them. Blood droplets receive that. I see. Retrieve, not received. Come back. I saw you. killed each other.
So it just, I think on the battle ones, it, it you don't have to kill them ten times. It's just you have to die less than them. Oh, cool. We unlock more stuff. Yeah, the blood droplets retrieved. That just took me back to, like, runes from Elden Ring. That I have played. Um, but I was never into any Souls games before that, so don't worry. Uh, we'll get there. The hunter parts ways with the raven and returns to central Mirolodia as the darkness of the night seeps into every corner of the cursed city. The search for Nicholas will have to wait. There are beasts that need to be called the perfect job for a hunter. Oh, so is, is, are we into like a race now? Oh no, it's just another battle. Okay. This game's fun. This game's fun fun. Central Mirolodian Courtyard. The hunt. The hunt. Collect 4,000 blood droplets from enemy mobs to win. Looks like there's like special things all over this map. Okay, so we're after the... Let's go. So much happening here, it's hard to even tell who's on my side and who's not. that horde look at that oh give me those babies hey guys where'd you go I don't even feel like I did anything. I think my teammates did all the work. But you know what? We won. What even is that? I can't tell. The hunter seeks out the ever helpful outsider whose knowledge of the cursed city could help them locate Nicholas. But the pain of his window is dark and inside his abode lurks abominations of the night. Race? So far, the races, uh, that's what I've been good at. The battles are like, eh, not so much. Outsider's Mansion. God, this game feels like it's like from the late 90s. Did you know, collecting a power-up while one is already in use will reload it. Nice. <laughs> Tear it up, guys. Holy shit.
weapons here. I can't live on it. Just health stuff forever. Boom! I love those things because it's like you don't have to even be facing the correct direction. I freaking hate that. I didn't make it. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? There's six left in this one? Oh, wow. That fucking sucked. I was there, and I didn't make this damn jump. So I had to redo the freaking lap. Okay. Pressure's on. Way too far behind because of that that setback. Coming for you. Okay, all right. I was so agitated that I got basically knocked back because that damn jump. Yeah, look at lap three, 47 seconds. Woo! I'll take the comeback. Oh, who are you? After consulting the Outsider's directory, the hunter travels to Mirolodia College where Nicholas is said to dwell. What they may find, or what they find within, may only raise more questions. Oh, a special match type. I haven't looked at the carts recently, and it looks like there's a whole crap ton more that we've unlocked. <laughs> Operating table. Giant boar. I'm going to stick with my hunter motorcycle. Ah, yes. Oh. The architect. Do you not hear our pleas? Who are you? Oh, we should not awaken from this. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Is that a little bird on his head? You cannot stop us. You cannot. <laughs> oh, that bitch. How the hell do you know where he is? Go this way. Oh, fuck 
I got stuck. Okay, we're trying to figure this out here. Like, can I make him go that way? There we go. Did she just start shooting at me? Where are you? where the fog was? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I gotta trap your ass again, or what are we doing here? Oh, you bitch. Still just driving until you say otherwise. You hunted. Yeah, I did. What do I do now? 
Okay, I would like at some point it's gotta end it. This game is cool as shit. Oh wow. <laughs> That's not great on the time on that one, but still took him out. So what happens now that we gun down Nicholas? You know, like having bested the keeper of the nightmare. The hunter returns to the misty dream, seeking answers about the architect from the beings that first initiated the hunter, only to find preparations underway for the final race as the false reality that is the dream begins to collapse. Pocket Dream Course. Oh, we're back to the original course. Pocket Dream Course. That does not look like the original course. I'm just saying. Can boost out of a damaged state if you're not countered. Let's go, baby. I like how Nicholas is in this race and he's literally just gonna gonna be running. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Not Nicholas, that wasn't Nicholas, that was Father Gregory. Oh my god, this is gonna be a struggle. I'm getting destroyed over here. Had a Gatling gun. Oops. How you like that shit? So far behind everyone. I'm just like, get rid of the guns. Catch up when you're this far behind. I see you guys up there.
see him, that doesn't mean I'm gonna catch him. I got wrecked early on, and then it's just no way to catch back up. Gotcha. Bitch. Come on, we can fucking do this. Where the hell is the person in first? How far ahead are they? Oh, they're already like there. Damn. That's the one person who was able to avoid the, the clusterfuck. Oh, man. Yeah, Mistress Marie. Piece of shit. You know what? It counts as a win because I got in the top three. I'm not going to complain. That that one is hard. It is such a clusterfuck because you're all just going together the entire time. So that's insane. As the night comes to a close, the hunter confronts Herman about the truth behind the dream and its architect. But the old man, the old man had something different in mind. Herman, alongside all the other participants encountered during the dream, gather for one final hunt, one final battle where only one hunter will remain standing. I mean, if he wants if he wants to do that dance, I guess that's what's going to happen. Pocket Dream Field. Last hunter standing. No respawns. Oh, baby. Okay. This could go very very poorly. Rifle. 
where you guys at? Oh, dude. Are you serious? This is like actually a rifle rifle? Like... You know how hard that is to aim that shit? That... <laughs> That's like, it's a cool gun, but what the hell? God damn it. Is that it? Is there more? Oh, look at that. Is that all the carts on fire? <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, here's the... Kind hunter. Here we stand. At the end of this nightmare, the denizens of the dream, with their silly customs, have attempted to use you to further their own selfish goals. But your role in this is greater than anything you could have imagined. Kind Hunter, I offer you freedom. I like our hat. <laughs> freedom. I want it. I want it. Do you accept? So she set us free? The truth has been revealed. The city of Miralodia, the race, the nightmare. It was all born from an ancient yearning to make contact with angels, cosmic beings beyond our understanding. Now, at the end of this terrible dream, Onet offers to free you from this... Nightmare. Do you accept? What is your decision? Submit life or refuse? Submit life? That doesn't really sound a whole lot like a good deal. Refuse. <laughs> we killed her. We killed her? A lifeless doll. Is that it? Oh, next match location. It's a special match. Probably because we chose to kill her instead of just take the deal. We said, no, we'll just burn it all down ourselves. What the heck? In the end, you are just another useless puppet. How disappointing. And so, the nightmare begins again. What? Dude. All right. This game was so much fun. So much chaos. Hey.
Okay, so this was Nightmare Card. I love this game. This was a ton of fun. I don't know how long it took me to beat it. I don't care. I... I feel like I've been playing for five minutes, you know? Um, this is something I wish had multiplayer. I don't know if it does or not, but if it does, it is free to play, and I'm going to be pulling some people into this to make them play with me, because this was awesome. The, the chaos, the, the music, the racing, the battles, everything. Um, phenomenal job to the dev who did this. Um, and yeah, I, uh, I'm just going to leave it there. I don't really have anything else to say. This was great. I hope you guys liked it. Um, so, <laughs> these little eyeballs. Yeah, so anyways, until next time, or... So anyways, thank you so much for watching, and uh, until next time, later.